we're going to take a look at installing WhatsApp. It links your roller to your computer via speed and cadence sensors and a heart rate strap uh, using a USB key. So the first thing we need to do is install an ant USB driver. Uh, the best thing is to clear any existing drivers you may have installed, especially the Garmin one which doesn't work with uh, WhatsApp. So we're going to the device manager. And here we see the USB serial bus controllers. We scroll down a little bit and there we see an ant USB two stick controller. So let's remove that and uh, we also and then we're going to use a little application called Zadig which will install a Windows USB driver for us, the correct one. This should work with any other applications you've got. There's no Anki plugged in at the moment so if it's plugged in you need to unplug it and re-plug it or if you haven't plugged it in, plug it in and it should be detected by Zadig. There we can see and USB 2 stick, the USB IDs select Win USB. LibKUSB works um, as well. It takes a little while to install the driver. And if we have a look over in the device manager, There we go, it takes a little while to install. Over in Device Manager we'll see it's correctly installed. So that's the foundation for WhatsApp that uh, links the Ant USB key to our software. So let's go and install WhatsApp. We go to the website, uh, click on Player Download, select WhatsApp Setup.exe. Windows executor. WhatsApp will also run on Linux and Mac OS um, but there's there's not an installer for that at the moment. If you're running those operating systems contact contact me. Click on install, it's not to install the store, installs under program files on Windows XP or program files 86 on Windows 7. Everything's installed. And there you can see under start we've got virtual training. So we start it up. Um, that's the basic screen from the uh, 1.0 version. Now we need to set up our weight, weight of our bicycle as we'll ride it on the road, uh, the wheel size diameter. Uh, circumference I mean, what turbo we're using, what resistance we're going to set our turbo to if it's a variable resistance turbo and we can also pair our heart rate monitor and our speed and cadence sensor so that we can ride with other people. You can see I've only got a heart rate monitor on at the moment, heart rate's 84 beats so I stop that and that puts in this heart rate, heart rate ID. Other sensors will have different IDs. That's an optional step, the pairing, but it's worth doing. Uh, if you're having any trouble getting things started, there's also a debug option which opens a console window so you can see if there are any uh, problems starting out that can help you with debugging. So there you go.